The MSI RTX 2060 Super Gaming X model is one of the custom variants of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super graphics card, sporting a neutral color scheme that will match any system, while also offering a rather stylish design with the standard TDP of 175 watts that is identical with the reference design RTX 2060 Super graphics card from NVIDIA. This graphics card is priced at around 415 US dollars or 400 euros depending on the retailer and location and of course if there is a discount available at the time of your purchase. We can now start with the cooling system, which is composed out of two main elements, the metallic heatsink and the fan and fan shroud placed over the said heatsink. There is also a backplate, but we are going to look and dive deeper into that later on into the review when we study the whole cooling system. The active cooling is done by two fans that are custom made for MSI. The actual part number found on the back of these fans is PLD09210 S12 double H. The fans also used two types of blade shapes and design to achieve a better airflow. Unfortunately, this fan model number is used for numerous other fan models made by the same or other manufacturers, so finding these exact fans to buy and replace in the case of a malfunction will be tricky to say the least. The heatsink base plate is made out of nickel plated copper and makes direct contact with the graphics core only. The heat dissipation is done by four nickel plated copper heat pipes that are shaped to make contact with as many aluminum fins as possible. This increases the overall heat dissipation surface area. The memory chip cooling is done passively by a plate that is screwed in through the PCB of the card and onto the back plate at the rear. There are also thermal pads placed in between this plate and the chips to provide some sort of thermal conductivity. The back plate used on this model has a simple design with five angular cutouts in various locations. The surface of the back plate is brushed at an angle and the gunmetal grey paint helps with the showcasing of this texture. The MSI Dragon logo and name are applied on the right side of the back plate, adding to the overall design. Of course, there is a layer of thermal pads that make the contact between the back of the VRM components and the backplate, passively cooling them to some degree. The design of this graphics card is very close with the one of other models from the MSI RTX lineup. This includes the overall fan shroud aspect and the usage of the same fans in a different numbers. Both fans are flush with the fan shroud and have stickers placed on the center of the hub. Unfortunately, not applied dead center, so they will create a wobbling effect when spinning. The backplate does add more depth to the look of this graphics card and is perforated to allow for warm air to escape. More on the used fans, these are configured to work in a semi-passive mode. In short terms, both fans will not spin until the graphics core reaches a temperature of approximately 60 degrees Celsius. This makes the graphics card silent under light loads such as video playback or web browsing. This feature can be overridden though through overclocking software such as the MSI Afterburner. The side of the graphics card is where the RGB party is taking place, as there are multiple elements that will light up when the system is poured on. Starting on the edge of the card and moving towards the back, there is a black and white plastic insert which features the MSI Gaming logos. The second set of RGB elements are found on the sides of both fans, placed under the plastic inserts that make out the edges of the fan shroud. All these elements are synchronized and will light up by default in a color cycle pattern. The pattern and the light intensity can be changed and customized through the MSI's own software called Mystic Light. In terms of display outputs, the RTX 26 Super Gaming X has three display ports and a single HDMI port available. Above the output ports, there is also a cutout that serves as the exhaust port for the graphics card. For the power delivery, a single 8-pin connector is used with the mounting clip angled towards the backplate of the graphics card. Before we move into the testing and performance results, we have to talk about fan speed and fan noise, and here is a noise sample of how the fans sound starting at 25% speed and going up to their maximum speed. There is some background noise caused by other components inside the system, however, to maintain fairness, nothing was filtered out through software or other means.
The actual sound value reached by this graphics card was 41 decibels, recorded at a distance of 10 centimeters away from the system with the fan spinning at their maximum available speed. Now we can safely get into the actual performance numbers, starting with Grand Theft Auto 5, updated to the latest version. The usage of this game in testing makes sense, as it is still one of the most played games thanks to its online mode, which is constantly updated. It is also very easy to replicate results thanks to its scripted scenarios and missions within the single player campaign. The RTX 2060 Super Gaming X has an average frame rate of 157 with no dips or screen tearing to be found throughout the entire testing session of this game. The next game to be tested is as always my all-time favorite The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, and just like GTA 5, its single-player structure allows for easy testing and replication of scenarios for a more accurate benchmark and result. In this game, the MSI RTX 2060 Super Gaming X reached an average frame rate of 118.5 and a minimum of 98.7 frames per second. There was no tearing to be found and also no sudden dips into the frame rate, so overall it is an enjoyable gameplay experience using this card. Another game to be tested is Metro Exodus, running with the Ultra preset enabled at 1080p with DirectX 12 mode and vertical synchronization turned off. The MSI RTX 2060 Super Gaming X model has an average frame rate of 104 frames per second with the random dips into the low 90s. Overall, the gaming experience with this graphics card is very good and only one particular segment of the game will give you issues, such as frame rate drops, but I won't spoil the game for you just yet in the case you haven't finished it. The final game to be tested is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, running at 1080p at its maximum settings in DirectX 12 mode and pure hair turned off for fairness to other graphics cards. In this game, the graphics card averaged a frame rate of 127 with no dips or screen tearing. The minimum value was also 114 frames per second reached on a particular segment of the game that, like in other games, deals with large particle numbers and light sources as well as volumetric effects and smoke. In terms of power consumption, the MSI RTX 2060 Super Gaming X peaked at around 202 watts, with an idle consumption of just 9 watts. The gaming power consumption was around 197 watts, averaged over multiple playthroughs of several games. The MSI RTX 2060 Super Gaming X is available for a price of around 415 US dollars or euros. This is of course reliant on what retailer you choose and your location plus the currency used. The overall performance is very good, with high and stable frame rates across the board in multiple games at 1080p, although, to be honest, this graphics card is better suited for gaming at 1440p but we test with what we have on hand right now. The cooling solution used on this model is capable and certainly looks good. While integrating RGB which, while not my favorite feature to exist, it is implemented in a good way that will match any system and configuration without being obnoxious. The two fans will not spin until the graphics card core reaches a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and the factory fan curve will not allow the graphics card to go over 80 degrees Celsius depending on the scenario and what case airflow you have. The overall build quality of this graphics card is very good and the cooler and backplate are designed not only to cool the components but to offer an easy way to maintain and clean the graphics card, especially after a few years of hard gaming work. The only drawback of the RTX 2060 Super Gaming X model could be the price. However, this can be said for most graphics cards today from all manufacturers, if you look at what is available on the market right now.